raised Catholic. I went to Catholic grade school, Catholic high school. I had never heard of natural family planning until I was in college, actually. Even in high school, um, in a sex ed class, my teacher even said, well, the Catholic Church teaches on abstaining, but I recommend condoms, actually. And although I didn't fully understand um, why that bothered me, it, it bothered me. And I knew, I think, in my heart that there was, there was something wrong with that statement there. A lot of women, um, like me, I think weren't educated in natural family planning, so they don't realize that it's actually an option. You shouldn't have to wait till you're engaged or married to learn about natural family planning, that you can do it as a single person as well. As a college student, uh, I was kind of struggling in my Catholic faith. I wasn't sure if the Catholic Church's teachings were relevant to me today. I decided to, at first reluctantly, get more involved in the Catholic group on campus. And one day, uh, after Mass, the priest was handing out a CD about the Catholic Church's teaching uh, about contraception and natural family planning. And I remember when the priest handed it to me, I actually looked at it and just laughed. <laughs> and he just looked at me and said, just give it a chance. One day driving, I uh, popped it in because I needed something to listen to. And it was a short talk, but it really opened my eyes up to how closed off I was to the church's teaching on natural family planning. After that day, I said a prayer to God and said, okay, God, this teaching is hard and I'm scared, but help me to trust in you. So when I met my now fiance, Chris, in the early stages of our, us dating, we talked about natural family planning and I said, reluctantly, and I want to use natural family planning. I don't know if that's what you want to do, but that's what I want. And he said, what else would we do? And it just was such a relief that we were, from the beginning of dating, uh, having these conversations, and that he was already on the same page with me. At the wedding, the priest is gonna say, do you come here freely and without reservations? And if I say to God that I trust him with my finances, with my career, um, with my life, and I don't say I trust him with my fertility, that's a reservation. For women, whether they have been a faithful Catholic their whole life or like me, got back into their faith later in life, I would say learn about this method. Although it's okay to be fearful or nervous if you're first learning about it, just be open uh, to learning more about it and, and let God in.